going to be like, damn, we're going to have to step this up some more. But, and also too, and this is more on a political thing, you got men in power, they don't want to be overthrown. So they want to try to keep the rest, other men suppressed. They still doing their thing, but they're like, hold up, we, we got to keep them under control. Like I always said about uh, feminin feminism, only thing that keeps it in power or has any impact is it's backed up by men with big guns. If those men with big guns say, you know what, we're kind of tired of y'all shit. That shit goes away, right? So, you know, they're going to try, what you have is one group of men, they're going to try to keep the other group of men down. And that's, I mean, you know, it's kind of slow. Because that's not masculine. See, when it comes to being a man, it's about being that rock. It's about being stable. You see what I'm saying? And this is what makes women uh, attracted to you because women, generally, they're all over the place. You understand with their emotions and all this other stuff. So you being a man, you're the opposite. You're more stable, you're, you're that rock. You're like the mountain and she's the weather. You feel what I'm saying? She's all over the place, but you have to stay there. You have to be like this. You see what I'm saying? You have to be hard, you have to be unmovable. You see what I'm saying? And so, unfortunately, nowadays, we have a lot of men who aren't men. You understand? We have men who sort of have a lot of feminine energy, men who don't know who they are, men who uh, have your manhood, your fucking penis, your dick, your cock. Like, it has to be erect. When you stick your dick inside a female, her vagina has to bend to the will, to the shape of, of the cock. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we're talking about when we're talking about manhood. This is why it's so important for you to understand what you are and why you are a man and, and what you're here to do. Because you are here to be erect, you're here to be consistent, you're here to be strong to, for the fucking world, the universe to bend to your will, just like a female is supposed to bend to your will, just like the vagina will bend to the will and the shape of the cock. You understand what I'm saying? When you're, when you're forging your path, when you find your direction and you're forging your path as a man, things get the fuck out of your way, especially when you understand the power of who you are. Things get the fuck out of your way. Think about every great... Yo, um, this is Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. We are here working hard on the Game Kings documentary. You feel what I'm saying? We really doing this. Wait, play play some of that real quick so they could so they could uh, hear some of the game. You feel what I'm saying? They gotta hear some of this game. And a lot of guys are like, what do you mean? Well, I'm not trying to fuck because I already know the pussy's already mine. Oh, you man. see, the rule of the game is this: you it's gotta be desiring without desire. See, all right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Listen, guys. <laughs> the shit is is happening, okay? It's happening soon, okay? Game Kings 2020, get ready, all right? Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent the donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, uh, whenever I'm around guys and their girls, the guys pick up on the fact that their girl wants my attention. At clubs, she's gravitating towards me, trying to bump into me and stealing glances. I don't fuck with girls in relationships out of respect for other men. How do you handle uh, women when they act like that towards you around their men or guys they date? All right, so all you have to do is ignore them. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do. Just ignore them. Don't talk to them. Don't look at them. You know, pretend they're not there. You know, act like they're invisible. You understand? Women will do this a lot. So you're going to be out and you're going to see women with their men, you know, and the chick is probably going to be checking you out. And sometimes the boyfriend or the guy she's with, he notices, right? So as long as you're not doing nothing and just, you know, ignoring her and ignoring him, you know, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to handle anything. You just keep doing what you do, right? Now, the reason why women will do this is because one, they're either trying to make their boyfriend jealous or two, they want some new dick, right? And
And a lot of times what will happen is, is that if it's, you know, blatantly obvious that the chick is checking you out and the guy sees that it's obvious that she's doing that, you understand? It's usually something going on in their relationship where they're having some sort of probably either issues or drama in their shit and she's doing shit, you know, like I said, out of spite to make him jealous or she just, you know, really wants some new dick, right? But all you need to do is just ignore that chick. <laughs> you understand? That's it. There's nothing else you need to do because when you're out, you know, at the club, at the bar, or whatever, you know, the chick is usually not going to come up to you. And the guy's not gonna do nothing as long as you're not talking to his chick. You see what I'm saying? So all you gotta do is ignore her ass, ignore him, and then, you know, keep it moving. Talk to other women in the spot and just do you. You understand what I'm saying? Um, don't worry about none of that shit. Cause you know, sometimes the, the chick, she's also just doing that for attention. You understand what I'm saying? She's gonna still like attention from, from other men. And it just is what it is, right? So. When that happens, you just don't even, you know, look at it. Don't even fucking uh, acknowledge it, and then you should be fine. All right? So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below, and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is gonna teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You'll also learn the only time you should call or text the women. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.